The first dam ever constructed was in the year 3000 BC by an ancient Egyptians. It was built to provide water for activities such as irrigation and human consumption. As per the World Register of Dams of Eichol, about 57,985 large dams are more than 15 meters. There is no count about the dams less than 15 meters. Hydropower from dams provides us about 24% of the total electricity in the world. So the question is, how are dams killing the earth? Dams are basic structures built to obstruct the water flow, while some water is diverted to turbine to generate electricity. The problem starts when the dams block the water flow. Flowing water has fishes that migrate, live and have come for spawning. Building a dam can interrupt this process, which has reduced the salmon population by 90%. Salmon is just the tip of the iceberg. They spend most of their lives at sea. So when they return inland to spawn and die, they bring ocean nutrients stored in their body with them upstream, sometimes hundreds of miles, depositing nitrogen and phosphorus that forest needs. They have one of the most crucial roles in the ecosystem. Bears belt down during mid-December and emerge in mid-March, females which give birth during the winter. To hibernate from December till March, they have to gain weight in November. During the same month, salmon returns inland to spawn. Bears eat salmon to gain weight and pick pieces of salmon on the forest floor which decay over time and act as nutrients for plants. Building a dam disrupts this process, killing the forest and the ecosystem. The flooding of the surrounding habitat around dam kills trees and plant life which decomposes and releases large amount of carbon into the atmosphere. Because the river is no longer free flowing, the water becomes stagnant and the bottom of the reservoir becomes depleted of oxygen as algae form on the water's surface. They are responsible for about 4% of greenhouse gas emissions. The stagnant water also supports the growth of algae. Algae blooms can reduce fish and other aquatic life's ability to find food and can cause entire population to leave the area or even die. Nutrient pollution fuels the growth of harmful algae blooms which have negative impact on the aquatic ecosystem. So what is the solution? Fish ladder can be the solution. So what is fish ladder? They are small elevated steps or passes made in dams to enable fish to migrate upstream or downstream of the dam. But the problem is they do not work as efficiently as they should. As a result, only 4% of the fishes use fish ladder. This is a solution, but not an effective one. Vegetation can grow anywhere around the river. Building a dam reduces the water level, so the vegetation grows and when the water level rises, the vegetation submerges and releases carbon dioxide. The growth of vegetation can be controlled using specific measures. Even with all the drawbacks of dams, they are still effective when compared to other sources of power. However, it is a tool, and like every tool, has some side effects and drawbacks. Therefore, we need to prioritize what do we need more, dams or the environment. Nature also has its own dams, beavers build them. We can also try to build dams that suit the nature and is economical, because in the end, what is more valuable than life and nature? Hey, I'm glad to see you at the end of the video. I'm Harish Ankadala. I regularly post such videos to spread awareness and take a person a step further towards enlightenment. So if you like what we do over here, please consider subscribing to our channel. So YouTube recommends this video to more people. And do share the video with the people you think would like to watch the video. So go ahead, type something in the comments to start a conversation. Or let us know your views or 
Tell us how smarter you feel today because taking you a step closer to enlightenment makes a lot of difference for us. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.